Gar are not a fish that most people chase on a fly rod. They have this prehistoric, almost dinosaur look to them. Razor sharp teeth, armored scales, and they are probably one of the hardest fighting fish, pound for pound. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. A uh, few things first. So, I'm back in South Georgia. Um, I'm here at my parents' house for a few days and uh, set aside about two days to go fish one of our local rivers. It's got some really big gar in it, um, and I'm a, <laughs> I'm a pretty big fan of catching gar on a fly rod. I know it's pretty unconventional, but they are an awesome fish to target. They are big, they fight hard, they jump out of the water. So anyways, we're going to fish for them for two days. Uh, it's usually not a very high yield type of fishing. You're doing a lot of sight casting. Um, you lose a lot of fish just because their mouths are so bony. You don't really get a good hook set. So I don't expect to catch, you know, 15 fish. If I catch 10 fish, I'll be happy. Uh, so that being said, I've got some flies that I'm going to go ahead and tie up tonight. Uh, I've got some material for it. And uh, two days of gar fishing, hopefully I can get the big one. Uh, there are some absolute monster fish in this river. Uh, kayaks already loaded up, trucks loaded up, so uh, tomorrow morning we'll head out bright and early and uh, yeah, get after it. So, see you guys there. Alright, made it to the boat ramp this morning, getting rigged up. Um, got three different rods with them. Got a eight weight, a three weight, and also have a uh, ten weight in case we see some really big fish. And we're gonna try to get hooked up to a gar today. Got sink tip on my eight weight. This will be what I'm primarily using. I have seen some white bass. I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro here in a few minutes and uh, see you guys in the water. So for the gar, the best place that I've been able to pick them up has been up off of the rocks. And there's another pool that's not far from here where the larger ones do tend to lay up at. So I will watch in that direction as well. And the pool I'm talking about is actually way around the bend down here at the end of the end of this little portion of the river. Larger one over there. Play around here for a minute, see if we can pick one up. There we go, there's one. Still on? Yep, we got him. Little guy, I can tell already. That is exactly how this fly works. That's as good as I'm gonna get on right here. I'm gonna let him go. I'm actually probably gonna head downstream because I really don't want to mess with uh, any small gar like that. I'm looking for the big ones, and I'm afraid if I keep trying to sift through all the small ones here, I'm not going to find any of the large ones, so we're going to push off here and head down the street. Splash the water. I mean, you can see them practically all over the place. There, there's one. That might be a good one. No, that's not. Maybe. Yeah, it's not a bad one. 
Oh, it's back to back about the same size as the other one. I'll try to land that real quick. He's a little bit bigger, I would say. Okay. Not a bad little fish. Hooks up. And he's off. Awesome. There we go. That might be a good one. Nope, I'm off. There's a big one. Can I get the fly there quick enough? Is the question. Yes, I can. Got him. Got that one. And that is a big one. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's probably a 15 pounder. We'll be getting that one on the reel. <laughs> Slay ride time. I really need to get back upstream where I can fight this fish. I definitely don't need him running up under those rocks there. Oh. Try to beach the kayak here. So I can get out and fight. Solid ground. Oh. That's a big female. And there she goes, yep. I'm kind of scared because I have no idea what pound test I have on this rod right now. And I don't think it's very heavy. Get in close here. Oh, I got the There we go. <laughs> That's a big one. Not as big as I thought it was, but she's fat. Whew. Another awesome gar. It's probably one of the bigger ones of the day, I'm, I'm guessing. Big female, probably about 10 pounds, I'd say. Big fish. Not a very big bill, but uh, heavy. Big, big body on her. We'll take some pictures of this fish, get a good look at her, and uh, send her back on the way, back out into the depths of the flint. Awesome fish here. All right, well, not sure if uh, you could see on the video, but we got rained out there the last minute. Of course, it's nice, blue skies now, but uh, I mean, I don't care. I got my fish, good to go. Um, I was gonna fish up around the dam for a little bit and see if I could get a flathead or something on a fly rod, which would be pretty cool. So I may come back tomorrow, probably tie some more gar flasks tonight and have those ready, and maybe try to pick off one of the bigger gar that are down here. And uh, yeah, that's the plan.
these are some of the the ugliest damn flies but they're effective all right so day number two we did pretty well down in the corner uh, pocket of the river so we're probably gonna slide back down there today and try to fish that area yeah that's the plan today we got a boat that's on the ramp right now I'm waiting for them to get it cleared off and in the meantime we're gonna get the tackle ready we'll head out on the water so uh, we'll see you guys on the water been here for a few minutes and uh, I've already seen some gar there's actually one right off the end of the boat here he's not very big I'm trying to find the really big ones today. Tied up some new gar flies last night. Should be adequate for what we're doing today. Just gonna look around. We got some overcast today, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see them if they're cruising up near the surface. I'm just gonna float back through this area. We're gonna work all the way back down, like I was doing yesterday, and see if we can pick the point one or two up. He's on it. Oh, had him for about two seconds. What a monster, but I barely could make out his outline. here scanning the water making sure I don't miss a big one up near the surface that was a big one Yeah, it's a little guy though. He's still not bad size, but just not a big guy. Bad one to start the day off. Alright, it flies out and uh, it's probably ruined, but we'll figure it out in a minute. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, let's go find that big one. Just sight casted. He got it. Oh no, he's off. Maybe he'll come for it again. I don't think there was enough there for him to really latch on to. Oh, he's got it. That's a bigger one. Oh, that's a big one. Yep, that's the one we're looking for. Uh, I might want to fight him from the bank. Yep, there she goes. Yeah, this is a big fish right here, guys. This is a really big one. 
bigger than yesterday's by far. Alright, I need to stop going this way. That water. I actually got the hook in this one. There we go. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Whew. Another nice, nice gar. That's a great fish. Probably not, it's not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be, but uh, that's still probably a, I'd say at least a 10 pound, 12 pound fish. All right, another great gar on a fly rod. That was a hell of a fight for this small fish. I honestly thought it was much bigger than this. So we'll get the hook out and then uh, send her back on the way. Nice thing about these fish is they're air breathers. So they're really resilient. You can keep them out of the water for a really long time. And uh, it's not like a trout where you gotta throw it back in five seconds. So <laughs> it is nice that these fish are so resilient. So we'll go ahead and get her back. <sighs> All right, well, that was a good fish. I'm gonna fish for probably another, another two or three hours, and I'll call it. Uh, I want to get one a little bit bigger than that. We're trying to get a fish about 20, 25 pounds, and there's plenty of them in here. It's just a matter of finding one and then getting a fly in front of it and then them staying hooked. So, all right, let's try to get them. If you guys want to uh, catch gar like this and you want to learn how to tie the fly, it's really easy. Uh, this is probably the easiest fly you'll ever tie. It's Honestly, the hard part is getting the nylon for it because you have to unravel the nylon rope. But uh, I'll put a video probably here somewhere. Um, all right, there we go. Let's go get another one. Float through here and try to sight cast one. And if you guys can see it, there's literally just one chilling out over here. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's a big one. turned on. 
jam. Oh. <sighs> I had him for about two seconds. There he goes again. He's still following it. Dude, he's right here at the boat. Oh man. He wasn't much bigger than the second one we had, but like I said, we won. Oh, there's a big one right there in front of me. Holy cow. Oh, he got it. Got him. Got that one. Oh, that's a really big one. That's probably going to be our biggest right there. Yeah, that's a big fish. Very easily biggest fish of the day right here. Uh, I am way far away from where I usually land these things, so I don't know what the plan is here. He did not like that. Okay. Oh no! Oh no, he just popped off. Dude, what? That was a toad! <sighs> oh well. This might not have been enough nylon on this one. I don't know. That was a good fish, though. All right, I've got a school here on my left. You guys might not be able to see them. You can probably see the ripples coming off of them. There's one right here. Um, but I'm gonna wait around for a minute. I'm gonna see if a bigger one will show up with this group, and then I'll target that one. There's three right here. These are all pretty small. That's a decent sized one. Big car. Got him. Come back for it. That's a big one right there. Holy cow, I'm going to mess that up. No, actually, I can. I'll take it back. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I didn't do an outro on the water because I was pretty tired and wanted to get back. Uh, plus, it looked like it was going to rain. I didn't want to get the camera wet or anything. So, uh, one of the big things about fly fishing in the south is, you know, just be open-minded. You know, there's a lot of fish that you can catch on a fly rod here. There's gar, carp bowfin, chain pickerel even. Um, I mean, there's tons of fish that you can go after other than bass, other than shoal bass or striped bass. You don't have to get locked in on trout. There's plenty of other species out there you can go after on a fly rod. Anyways, I caught some nice fish. I hate that I missed that one really big one, and uh, we had that other one that was pretty big get off the hook as well. And both of those are probably pushing 20 or 25 pounds, so they were big fish. Um, I think next time I go after them, I'll probably tailor my flies a little bit more and put a trailer hook in the back end and see if that helps out any. Uh, but thanks for watching. I hope maybe you guys were a little inspired to go and fish for some gar uh, after watching this. They're awesome fish to catch on a fly rod. They're pretty gnarly. Uh, you know, make sure you wear gloves and you have a good set of pliers on you, otherwise you're going to get bit. But uh, yeah, hope you guys like that. And uh, well, that's it. I'll see you at the next one. Till then.